I think at the moment, the, the two-year yield offers an, an interesting reinvestment opportunity. I think that the, the three-month T-bills do that too. And we can be fairly assured that you can have an annualized return there of about 5%. Because the Fed's not going to cut rates in the future. It's going to at least stay at five or higher. And then it is a function of, like, is this rate that the Fed is after then high enough to really start affecting that core rate? It's not so much the headline, but really the core and then that super core rate, uh, inflation rate. And that's to be seen. So the, the projection of the Fed shows that some members believe it's not really five and a half or five and three quarters even. No, it probably has to ha be between six and six and a quarter percent. And that I thought was notable because the debate in the markets is like, actually at the current levels, the Fed is already restrictive, but the Fed themselves believes it actually has to be a higher rate to be restrictive enough to truly get inflation down to where they want it to be. So I think you can reinvest at the short end of the yield curve and earn that that 5% or more return. And then if the Fed is restrictive enough, the yield curve does shift and becomes steeper. And that will be the big turn in the fixed income markets. That's when the 10-year okay. yield will start to decline a lot and you make return. Okay, so then translation, or let me try and paraphrase you here. Uh, you're saying that now is not the time to go long duration. Still money to be made on the short end. And if you're worried about investment risks, well, then look for the shortest durations possible, whether it's two or, or even three months. Uh, because with that tight a window or smaller window, uh, uh, rates could potentially still go up. Yeah, that's right, Martin. So, indeed, that's where your guaranteed, quote-unquote, guaranteed return really is. Whereas in the duration, the 10-year, that's sort of sticking here at, at that two, the 370, maybe moving around a bit. So you really want to reinvest at the short end. And I think if you do that, you build up also this, this powder, right? There's this money that you're earning from that interest to reinvest that out in the yield curve in the 10-year once that time comes and the Fed has you know, really succeeding in inflation that really then starts moving down to 2%.